Hi guys, Heath with HG Saddles here, and I'm bringing you um, another alternative to use for a repelling device. This is a figure nine, and it's for repelling. Um, it is also a hands-free positioner, so when you uh, let go of this, it will stop you. Um, I've tested this on both eight and nine millimeter and it seemed to work wonderfully. Um, it's a little jumpy when you first start repelling with it. Um, it's very simple to use. Um, you can have this hooked down to your saddle and you don't need to remove it um, when you attach it to your rope. Um, very simple, once it's attached to the rope, you can grab hold of this handle and you pull it down and it's going to allow you to repel down the tree. As soon as you let go of it, it locks and you're there at a hands-free position. Put it on the rope, it's very simple. You've got your rope, you put a bite through that, you twist it, and put it over the end of the handle. So in the end, that's what it looks like. To repel down, a little hard to show with one hand, where you can grab hold of this handle and pull it down, and that allows rope to slide through. As soon as the, you take your hand off that handle, it will lock you in place um, so you can't slide down. So again, with weight on this, you pull it down, it allows you to come down the tree, you let go of that handle, and it locks you in place. Um, it's a little cold outside today, but I did, uh, I did do some repelling with it um, on both some eight millimeter and nine millimeter rope. Um, it worked wonderfully on both. Um, so it's, it's another option. Um, this sells for, um, I think it's $22 on Amazon, you can buy it, um, got it within a couple days. Um, I did not weigh this, but I think it was, um, in fact, I'll, uh, I'll weigh it and I'll put the, uh, put it on the screen here, how much it weighs. Um, but it is very light, it is flat, so to speak. So it does pack very well, other than taking up, uh, taking up the handle length here. Um, overall, it's about nine inches from end to end. Let me turn it around. Um, there is a little diagram on it that shows you how it, how it goes through. But it'll essentially come through and it'll twist. So your top rope is over top of your brake rope and at that point in time it's basically just a friction the harder you pull the harder it locks down on that rope to stop you again you pull down the handle and allows you to come down the rope you let go of the handle and it will stop you in place so another option for you um, for those guys that are looking to Get into repelling and can't find a safeguard or don't want to spend $120 on a um, Petzl or some other similar device. This is another option. It's called a figure nine. Um, this one is made by Zinda. As far as I know, they're the only ones that are manufacturing this right now. So it is another option um, for those who want to get into repelling, uh, maybe getting into one sticking game. Even if you don't get into one sticking, um, repelling down the tree is the safest method. Um, I am going to test this some more um, before I actually take it up to uh, you know, 20, 30 feet, 20, 25 feet. I'm not going to go 30 feet, um, but 20, 25 feet. Um, I am going to test it some more at lower levels, but so far, like I said, it was uh, it's about 18 degrees outside today. So um, I went up and I did about uh, probably about six repels um, on it from about um, I guess my feet were probably about eight feet, um, so in that uh, my body was probably up around uh, 12 feet. Um, 
and uh, came down about six times with it and it worked great. I'm very pleased with it. Um, cheap alternative um, to have in your pack. Thanks for watching. Keep the ropes tight.